And what is going on everyone, it is Kier today, and I'm back with another Red Dead Online video. And this time I'm going to be showing why the Norfolk Roadster is still the best horse overall in the game. Let's get right on into it. I already got my daily challenges today. I got a couple of them, to, just the easy ones you can do. I'm on an 82 day streak. If my streak didn't break, I probably would have almost... 200 days i think but i'm gonna show you why it's not gonna be in depth but anyway okay i'm on the fox trotter just because i recently bought one back because your boy is a little rich in this game yeah i have a lot of horses right now i don't have a max stable yet i want to i'm gonna be recording this commentary as i'm playing so i'm not gonna edit it back later on like i usually do but anyway let's go get the roadster the silver dappled pinto fox trotter is still the prettiest looking horse in the game as you can see horses are on sale that's pro that's the reason why i bought it and you can see I have a lot of them. So, um, don't question half the names of these horses. Yeah, like this one. Clementine from The Walking Dead. Ben Swallow, you, you know. And Bojack. If you watch Bojack Horseman, you probably should if you haven't. But anyway, you know. And I'm not gonna go in-depth on, like, the actual statistics of the horse. As you can see in the bottom left, that's the, what do you call it? The cores when you have the horse at level 4. And the important thing is... Make sure you have the Nakadocha saddle, no matter what color, it doesn't matter. It gives you one more speed and acceleration, maxing out its speed and almost maxing out the acceleration. This is why it still has the edge over the Criolio and the edge over the Foxtrotter. The only thing those two horses have on this one is that it has a higher health core, but to be honest, health core doesn't matter with the horse, because if you fall off the cliff, you're probably going to still be alive, and you shouldn't be shot at on your horse. And I don't see too many people do this, but Jesus Christ, people, if you have gold... If you have money and all that, customize your guns. Guild them out. Like, look how pretty these Lamats look. And don't at me, the Lamats are the best pistol slash revolver in the game. Okay, so, to get in with the, the Roadster, why this is still the best horse, you have the gis the Gypsy Cob, Gispy, Gypsy, Gypsy Cob, whatever, that was just added with the Naturalist. That horse is alright. It's gonna have the maxed out cores, obviously. It's basically the inverted version of the Claude Ruber, where it has a better top speed, but a slower acceleration, on opposed to the Claude Ruber, which has a higher acceleration with a slower top speed. See, people like to get their horses for the fact that it looks pretty. I don't blame them, but I like the functionality of the horse. This is the level 20 Roadster you get with the um, Moonshiner roll. I don't remember what this coat was, to be honest, but I didn't like the other one. I just didn't like the other one because it looked almost identical to the Criolio color that I got. So if you look in the top right, those are the stats maxed out with the Nakadocha saddle, which should be the only saddle you should rock on any horse. I don't care how pretty other ones look. Like, trust me, I like me the Panther saddle, but it doesn't have the same functionality as this one. The Nakadocha saddle is literally the best saddle to go with. And remember here, I like looks. As you can see, I have a very nice outfit on my character, and I've spent... I wouldn't be surprised, I think I spent more than $10,000 on clothing in this game, just because... For those of you who know, before this last update, the last update was last December, I think? It was like 7, 8 months, probably. And I have 34000 bucks. and before this update dropped, I had almost 50000 I have 200 gold bars, so I just spend whatever the hell on anything. Some people don't like to do that, some people just don't have the time to grind, but... When the collector roll was first added, I grinded that like hell. I pulled up the Nazar map and literally just got every single collectible each and every single day. And I am getting severely off topic here. Okay, so before this last update, I swear to God, this horse had a terrible temperament from what it's supposed to be. Because this horse is supposed to be like pretty well tempered compared to the other horses. It's still better than the Arabian, obviously, and the Griolio. But since the Naturalist update came out, the horse had, from what I experienced, has a very improved temperament on it because before the naturalist update before when a bear would come and attack me this thing would buck me off immediately ever since the update the horse will not throw me off even when the bear is standing like three feet in front of me i wish i had some footage i don't have footage of that right now but when a bear comes and attacks you it will keep on or it won't throw you off and like i said this is not going to be a very what do you call it in-depth video on the st statistical things of the horse this is just coming from someone who plays the game a lot as you can see i'm level 256 and i didn't even play this game when online first came out i game share with my cousin so he got the game in january 2019 so a couple months after release and we didn't really play online until march after we both 100 percent of the game the first time and as you can tell we play a lot i would probably be level 400 if i played consistently throughout the year but i know what i'm talking about in this game I have my fair share in the collector role, the trading role, the bounty owner role, straight up PvP and everything. I'm not an expert on it, but this horse, it's the fastest, it accelerates. It doesn't have the superior handling like the Arabian does, but to be honest, that doesn't matter because superior handling can't stop you from hitting a tree. Like, it turns fast, like if you just keep spinning your 
uh, stick right here. It turns pretty fast, it's very nimble still for being a bigger horse too. Most of this video is probably not even going to be telling you much about the horse because for those of for those of you who have this horse, you should know, and if you're still rocking the Chestnut Arabian trying to upgrade a horse, the Roadster should be the one you get. Because one, the Moonshiner roll is very easy to rank up because selling Moonshine is so easy, no one ever f***s with you on that. But let's see if I can show the temperament a little bit. Because I remember before doing um, bounties, like getting it to shootouts and everything, this horse would run away so easy before the last update. So let's see if I can show you, and if not, it's just gonna say I'm full of shit. So get a gun and just start shooting your horse. He's not even flinching. I mean, yeah, he giddied up a little bit. But look, he's not even running away. Because I remember before I couldn't even unload this whole Landcaster and he would just run away immediately. So they improved the temperament a lot. Let's see if I can show it off against the Gator. I doubt I'll find a bear anytime soon right now. Where is the almighty Lagrosse? Prior to the Naturalist update, you would run near a gator and then you'd be there for like one second and this guy will just throw you off. And with the Naturalist update, they finally, finally fixed animal spawns. See, look, he gets scared. He backs away slightly. Because before the update, I would have been thrown off already. Yeah. So I just got thrown off right now. So he stood pretty well against the gator. I still got thrown off, which he will with every horse. I don't care if you have a war horse. Sorry, Harriet. Sorry, Harriet. I need my hat. So he lasted a good while before he threw me off. I wish I had footage of the bear attack, but yeah. When the bear would roar, the second it pops up on your radar, he would throw you off and then leave you out to die. But even when the bear is standing right in front of you, like let's say the bear is this tree over here, he'll stand the ground and let you get a shot on him before he throws you off eventually. He'll still throw you off because he'll eventually get scared, but they finally fixed the temperament on this horse where he's a lot tougher. And it's just a beautiful looking horse. Hey, look at this. Time to get a thumbnail. Like I said, this is not going to be that in informational when it comes to diving in-depth on the stats. As you can see in the top right, like I said, it is max speed and almost max acceleration. This is the fastest horse you can get. Well, technically not the fastest because of the Black Arabian, which I do own, which I was my f first uh, big upgraded horse before the Chestnut Arabian. I've had my fair share with that horse. I used it from like level, what was it? 70 to almost 200 probably with that horse but we all know how bad the arabian's temperament is especially in online the fox trotter is still a good horse except the temperament's a little a little iffy the curly was nice because it's as fast as this it doesn't have as fast of acceleration it still doesn't have as good of a temperament the claude ruber and gypsy cob i don't even bother with those anymore like i've maxed out i don't think i'm completely maxing my gypsy cob but god I, I just don't like that horse and it just looks weird as you can see, I've maxed out a Breton, I've maxed out a Black Arabian, I've maxed out a Criolio, I've maxed out a Claude Ruber for God's sakes, I've maxed the Roadster. I've, I don't know what level it is, I think it's two or three with this Gypsy Cob, and then I've rebought back a Fox Trotter because I had to trade one out earlier when I didn't have that much money. But like I said, it wasn't informal, or wasn't formal on the stats of the horse, but it's just the best horse in the game, and you should just take my word for that because I play this game a lot. A lot of you people probably do. Whether it comes to you wanting the prettiest horse or not, this horse will be the best for your money. Just overall use. I sound like I'm talking out of my ass, I know. But just take my word for it, this horse is amazing.